Hello guys! Welcome back to another episode with Morillabus. I've erected <laughs> uh, these little pillars. This kind of shows the range of the current beacon. So that's kind of its outer square. There's another one over here. See in the distance. Of the trees. And yeah, I just did all four corners. So I think eventually I'd like to have these beacons arranged in such a manner that they encompass the whole village. So probably just having them kind of on the exterior of the village overlapping this one should do the job. But that won't be for a little while. So I've decided... Um, why did I come here? Oh yeah. I've decided that I'm going to start work. I've kind of been putting this off. Because I don't really know what I want to do with the place. Oh. Start work in the nether on the main chamber. So, I've done a bit of digging. And I created this circle. Ooh. Cheaty tunnel. So yeah, this is a 31 radius, no, 31 diameter circle. And I don't know. I regret building this thing so high up because the bedrock ceiling is right there. So I'm limited on how high I, how high I can go. And I'd kind of like this room to be larger than it is. Um, so what I'll probably do instead is lower the floor, which will probably cause issues with spawning on the rails, but this tunnel itself, the rail is completely spawnable, so I'll just deal with it, do what I can, and maybe they'll change in the future that uh, mobs can't spawn on rails or something, that would be nice. So I think I will keep this size. It's not overly huge, but I think it's decent enough. I don't want to have to sprint across the room just to get to another tunnel. So this is, I think, okay for size. And I'm going to try to make it dome-like a bit. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm going to dig it right back up. So I would like it not to be like a cylinder, but more of a half sphere. So it would be some curve to it. So I think I'll just go down two or three blocks. And then we'll come up for the tunnels. And yeah, that will be the goal. Um, I'm going to break this. The exact location of the portal in the overworld is close to here. Come on, it's actually right here. These two blocks, or I think it's this block. Depends if the game rounds up or down, I don't remember what it does. So, it's going to make kind of those. I should, probably shouldn't put them in yet, because they might end up being lower than they are. And I'm going to have a kind of a squarish, or what do you call this, like a cross shape, I guess. Let's use that as a physical representation. So the portals will look like that. And it'll share the inner column. It should be kind of like that. And again, that way to you, but I'll have to change that. But every time you come in here, you're going to come at this portal. But you can leave out of any of these portals, and it'll take you back to the main one at the village. So yeah, that's the plan. And in terms of theme, I think it's going to be a wood theme to kind of match what the village is, and it's a pretty wood-themed village. So I'm going to try to work in a bunch of wood in this area, maybe some leaves. don't know what color. I think leaves look pretty awful in the nether, but anyway, we'll see what we can do with them. And maybe some green rolls or what have you. 
So because I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm probably not going to record me working on it, but I'll record when I've figured something out. So when I have an idea of what I'm doing, I'll record the progress there. But right now, to record it, it would just be me stumbling around and we could get absolutely nothing done in the entire episode. So I will work on it on my own and update you on the progress. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, I haven't done much. Took out the floor, one block, which I regretted because then I started working on the roof and then I was too low <laughs> by like one block. So I had to like pillar up to work on the roof. But that aside, what I've done is created a couple more circles, created kind of a more domed look. I think I told you the wrong radius that we were working on. This is like a 23 radius, no, 23 diameter circle. Whew. Yeah, I don't remember what I said before. So 23 diameter, then I went to a 21 diameter, and then I've gone to a 19 diameter, I think, or 17 diameter, something like that. That's kind of what I got, and then it's going to be a matter of just blending it now with whatever I use, with like stairs and whatnot, to make them look a little bit more domish. I may even mm, yeah, I don't think I can. If I bring another circle down here, and I'm infringing up on that. I kind of want to keep that visible. So I'm not even sure how I'm going to do that. If I'm going to re replace these blocks, which I don't, I don't want to do that because I can't replace the blocks up here because of the bedrock. So the ceiling is going to be a block here. I'm going to try using full blocks instead of half slabs, so I don't get the shadow effect because I won't be able to light up above the half slabs, at least not all of them, because of that bedrock. So, unless I make the bedrock visible, which you may have noticed I'd have to do for my end portal little area. There's actually, I think, one or two visible bedrock blocks, but I'd prefer not to do that. If I can avoid it, so, yeah. That's what I got so far. Far. I don't know if I'm going to go down. I think what the ground I'm standing on will probably end up being ice. And then there will be half slabs above it. Oh, there's a block. Where are you? Right here? Yes. Ta -da! Um, yeah, or I'll go down one more block. But I don't want it to be like a big climb up here. If anything, I just wanted it to be a half slab difference up, or maybe like a two half slab step type of thing. So one block lower. So if this is ice, I would have half slabs on it, and that would already be a half slab lower. So what I probably will do is go down one more block, and that block I just broke. So this one would be ice, and then it'd be a half slab, and then it'd be a two half slabs stair up to the outer thing and I'd probably do that all the way around in a circular fashion. So I'd just go down a half slab along the perimeter, circumference or whatever, <laughs> internal circumference, and then drop it down another block. And these half slabs I had all over the place were to prevent the ghasts from spawning when I was working on these tunnels. And I think I'm gonna have to move the storage I want to create like a hidden storage room like I have at the end, just the little shutter thing. I'm just not sure where. I don't want to block anything. Like I currently don't have any tunnels going this way. And this way is... Which way is this way? I don't have anything that way. I do know there's a mushroom biome this way. Quite a ways. So I could end up doing that. Have a tunnel that way. So for the time being, I'm either going to try to work in a shutter 
or I could probably store things here. So we already have a tunnel going this way. And then I'll work at rearranging it at a later date when I have the design in mind. If I have to move it a little bit, that won't be such a bad or a big deal. Do I have a record here? I do have a record. Alright, well, back to work. I'm going to have to haul some wood in here, and I also probably have to chop down some trees, because I know, at least for the spruce wood, I am running low. But first I might need these. It's like three double chests of netherrack that i got to get out of here. I might truck some of it over to that storage there, but not sure. But anyway, bring you back. Okay, so I moved my storage just into the cubby hole over there. Brought the floor down a couple of layers so I can put down some ice. And I'm not sure where these portals are going to be sitting yet. I'll probably bring them lower, I'm guessing, at least one block. So that they're sitting on top of the ice. And then I can have a half slab. I'm not sure. I like to cover up the obsidian in my portals. I'm not sure how well I can do that in this design, but I will see. But right now, yeah, I'm just going to be laying down this ice. The other thing I've got to move is this. Um, this is my access down to the real nether in this location. But it doesn't have to be here. I mean, I built a little enclosure down here, but it's nothing that can't be redone or moved or done better, so this will probably end up being moved or removed altogether. But it is nice to have an access down to the actual nether. I'll worry about that at a later date. So I think for now I'm just going to plug this up and I can dig down when I want to get to the nether some other way, just straight down, which is always recommended. Here we go. Gone. Cover up your problems. So, I will bring you back. <laughs> Anybody ever, I accidentally did it on the ice when I was trying to light these portals. I did like that. I guess that's the light that the fire makes. It just looks weird when there's no fire. I'm sure I'm killing this thing. Is it using durability? Oh yeah. <laughs> sure is. Apparently you can't light ice on fire. Who knew? But it makes a cool little flash. Yeah, here's portal. So kind of an across. I think I'll still be able to hide it. Would have been neat to be able to hide it in like the trunk of a tree. I guess I kind of could and just have the trunk go right up to the ceiling and then be gone. Hmm. Anyway. Flash! So I tried the tree look. Yeah, it's all right, I suppose. I think it needs a much bigger area. A higher roof to make it really work. I just kind of roughly did it. So yeah, I think I'll try something else. Keeping the theme of my other portals. This is kind of what I'm thinking for a floor. Just kind of threw it together. Randomly putting different blocks, but it's in a pattern. Actually worked in some of the cherry or the, the jungle wood in there. It looks okay. Not sure. But I will continue going. I'm going to tear that out. And I also have to figure out how I'm going to blend this in. I don't really like what that's doing, so I'll probably have to replace this blue wool with something else. Maybe stone or something. And yeah, this isn't staying either, so that'll be blended out. Maybe even with just solid wood blocks, actually. Maybe even here, it should be solid spruce. 
And I'm kind of leaving the ceiling last. But, yeah, I didn't even finish this. Okay, well, I'll tear this out and try something else. It's not a Tuma. It's kind of like a growth. I don't know. Maybe I should put some non-stair blocks in there. I really gotta turn off these portals. Driving me insane, the noise. I don't think I have a bucket of lava. At least not out here. So yeah, it's attempt number two. I obviously haven't done the whole thing around, but just playing around with it. But if we avoid that, I do. The new, yeah, the new stair mechanic's neat, but it's limit, ah, limiting as well. Like I don't think you can do back-to-back -back blocks like this. You have to have one like straight piece on there that you place the block on. If I were to remove that one, that one becomes straight like that, and so does that one. And I couldn't put a block like that on there and have them be side by side. Voice crack. I could do one like that, and then like that, and it does the round. Hmm. Yeah, and you can't do like a. That would be cool if you could just have a corner piece. I don't think you can do that either. Give me my blocks. I want my blocks. Like, I'd like to have solid blocks here, I think, down the middle, and have these ones the corner. But I'm not aware of a way to do that. That, <laughs> that's exactly what I want, but I'm pretty sure that's a, a glitch, yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's it. Do it. Yeah, see, that one's based on the way I placed that block. It's facing the wrong way. And look. That could work. And that's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's also impossible to do that. That looks cool. Can't place a block here and have it go around. Either goes that way, or I can do it that way. Or can I? No, I should be able to if I do it this way. Oh, yeah, but I can't have it curved. That's right. Yeah. I was having that problem. Oh, turned around, working down that way too. Doing these edges as limiting. So I'd like to have these guys curved. Er, let's see here. I'd like to have these guys like so. No. Yeah, see, I'm running into the problem already. Let's do the other ends. Yeah. So you could do it. I could have one end that looks like that, but I can't do the other, the other end like that. Where I run into a problem where the stairs don't join up. But I think that would look cool if I could have it like that. I think that looks nice. Better than this, but yeah, I can't get it to happen. If someone could show me if they know that it is possible. Mm, oh well. 
Yes, I don't know about this monstrosity. I just don't like having the obsidian showing. <laughs> I'm going to try doing it so it doesn't connect to the roof. Just have it kind of more square across. And I'll see what I can do. Be right back. I don't know. Maybe tell me what you guys think. Yep, I just don't know. I think what I'm going to do is just leave it for now. And work on the rest of it. And then I can tweak this later. And if I get some other theme going on the exterior, then I can try to work it into this. But yeah, I just don't know. It's just too big for me to try to hide <laughs> in other blocks. It doesn't look awful, I don't think. I think this creates a decent like frame around the actual portal entrance. And then this is just whatever. I could replace these outer ones with full blocks and see what that looks like. Might be too bulky though. What if I just do solid? Yeah, then you get to see the obsidian. Anyway, don't know. Yeah, I'll leave it like that for now. And I don't know about this thing, <laughs> this post. <laughs> Not really necessary. Just hides that last bit of obsidian. I could even smaller entrance. Oh no! No, abort! Abort! Don't do that. What did I just say? I said abort. Should be able to do that though. Oh, I guess I should maybe look at it before I go around and do it everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, probably not those. Makes this way too small now. Alright, well, now I'm going to move on to the walls and the ceiling. And destroy these portals. Well, that's what I could do. Da, 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 da. Ah, I haven't stopped yet. Oh, there we go. It's beautiful. Actually, it looks better when they're not on. Okay. And I think I have a sliver of. <laughs> that would suck, eh? 
Yeah, I still have a tiny bit of flint and steel, enough to light at least one of them. Probably all of them. Why didn't I do that, like, an hour ago? Alright guys, bring it back. Dope. Alright. I just realized I don't think I was recording the game sounds, so you guys couldn't hear the portal anyway. But I could, okay? And it was annoying. Very, very annoying. That is all. All right, that's what I got. A roof, a roof, a roof, a ceiling, whatever, I guess. That's more of a ceiling, I guess, not a roof. This is what I have for the ceiling, so far. And, yeah, I don't know. I just did stairs around, brought it down. Put up some beams, or pillars, I guess, not beams. These would technically be beams, I guess, sort of. And yeah! Sort of tried to tie it into the other areas. I don't really know if I succeeded very well. This looks awful. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to join this so it meets up here. And same with that, so that this does not exist, this space will no longer be here. And then over here, oh, I'm not sure. This almost ties in okay. So I just have to join that somehow and then blend that. We could probably... That could be, that's not wood. Might just be able to do something like that. Don't really like that join though. Hmm. Something wonky is happening here, too. That stair. Probably from what I was doing there. Yeah, I'll have to. No, that doesn't look too bad. Well, this does. Anyway, took that after. Um, not sure about that. That looks weird from this end too. Maybe I just have to. Oh, I don't know. Probably not this. <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. Anyway, I'll play around. So the next step, I guess, it's kind of bad. Like if I had this thing planned out ahead of time, I could have made the tunnels line up properly. <laughs> but I think for the walls, I'm going to try to do just some panels, I guess, similar to the way I've done the halls. So kind of that. That type of thing, so I'll see if I can work that in. Maybe I'll throw in more more of these guys, or maybe I'll change these ones out and try to do something. I did bring leaves, I never did check to see what they look like. Why don't we take a look? So I've got each each type. Um run out of room. 
inventory malfunction. Okay, shouldn't need another rack. Don't need blue wool. Okay. Let's just see what they look like. Could theoretically do panels. I was also thinking of maybe converting some of the ceiling. Not too bad. What was that? Oh, that was spruce. And this. Okay. This one looks awful. It's got the yellow. So oak is out. So those actually still look green. Oh. I wish when you silk touch them, they were the same type. Like, look at this, what the hell? I've got, like, three different types. <laughs> One from Shears, and then these two are both from... Silk Touch. Oh, these look nice, too. Just the regular ones that look, like, nasty. I do put leaves, I'll probably change it so you can't see another rack through them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I mean, screw that. <laughs> Alright, no. We don't want no nastiness. These two look okay. I mean, obviously, the spruce looks good with the spruce wood. So, I might try to do that. For ceiling, or not ceiling, for the walls. Alright, I will bring you back. I've discovered a secret tunnel. <gasps> Most likely created by... Uh, where the hell did this go? <laughs> oh, I think this is the way I got up the first time. It's the ceiling. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, I think that just goes out to the nether. And you... Oh, I have no arrows. Oh! Retreat! Well, I um, don't need this anymore. I may fill it in, I don't know. Or probably just abandon. Fill in the top part, maybe. Back to work. Actually, I can show you what I've done. I haven't done much, but... And there's this tunnel that's... I think I started digging in the wrong... I don't know what I did. Do I have enough to fill this in? Probably not. Well, maybe, actually. Okay. I don't know. Just data alternating pattern leaves. I could try as well. Yeah, I had to get the. Oh. Is this a. Silk touched? Probably. I had to get the shears out. It was annoying me. I had way too many different piles of leaves. Hard to tell which ones were rich. 
So what if we did something like this instead? Just get three different panels. No. No. There we go. Hmm. Then I put birchwood behind there. I don't know if that's a good idea. I could try putting some light behind there too. Maybe below and above. I don't know. Probably end up using pumpkins. Although they'd be visible, so maybe I wouldn't use pumpkins. That's essentially what I've been doing. And now I'm creating shadows. Is this right? Yes, yes, it's right. Oops. So sensitive, this peak. It's only efficiency three. Oops, that's where my axe was. Ah, okay. There's two panels. I guess this is in the way, but worry about that after. Not moving it again anyway. Oops. Let's do that. You can kind of get an idea of the. I don't know if I like this, to be honest. But. Something. <laughs> Something for now. And I'll always change it later. Go. Oh. Let's get the axe back. Oops. Oh, that works. Nope, that doesn't work. Let's get higher. Boing. That looks kind of weird with it being. That's not center. I have to put one more. Oh. This is very finicky. Sometimes you can get it. Which will be just on the right part of the jump, I think. <laughs> now, will that work everywhere? Like, does it work over here? That's kind of where the rail is. Could take this rail out. To be honest. Does it go here or does it go one back? One back. Okay, let's try that. Let's replace this whole thing. With logs. I guess that stone can stay there. Should have done that different way. Should have done the bottom ones first. Then I wouldn't have to jump like an idiot. Yay! That could work. Could work indeed. And then these ones. I think I just have. Oh, I keep doing it. Oh, and inventory is full. Now, if I do that, then it's a lot easier. Even though you only really see the outer part. You can kind of see it in there. Same with this one. Nope. Uh oh. Which way is that going to go? Yeah. That's not cool.
Is that even right? It's not right. I'm supposed to go here. Could probably take that out. Oh yeah, it's gonna close this in, so that has to go. And yeah. That could work. Still don't know about these. Maybe with some lights. I'll try putting some light under there and see what that looks like. Maybe just some regular glowstone. Alright, I'll bring you back. So close. Okay. Um I don't like that. I am done, I think, for now in this area. Can't think. Kind of uninspired. Looks okay, I think. Nothing extravagant. But it's something. Maybe that, maybe? I don't know. Maybe change these to the wood. I've been using that as a filler between that and that. But, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Until I get, yeah, inspired to do something different, maybe. At least something. Better than another rack hole, I guess. But I don't know. This isn't really working for me. I'm tying them in to the tunnels. I just don't know. But I put the uh, track back. Just threw in some wooden buttons. Just for now. And yeah. There we go. Also, I did some testing. For the beacon. And the material does not matter. You can get speed 2 with iron blocks. I don't know if I'll bother swapping it out right now or ever, but if I ever need those emeralds, I'll, I'll change it out. But I made... Actually, I could show you. Hang on. Okay. Here I am in one of my test worlds. Uh, that was, yeah... A video on durability, this was on kind of which block blocks the beacon. And I created these three. One out of each material, and then one out of a mixture of all of them. And as you can see, we're with gold right now, and we have speed two. And I just put the piston so I can shut it off or change the level. How big of a pyramid. Here's iron. And wait for it to come on. There we go. And it has speed 2 selected. I think. Let's see here. Oh, maybe not. I thought I had it at one point where it was giving me both regen and speed. Yeah, it is right now. So I think if you pick regen, you get the whatever boost you have over here. And then you can also upgrade that speed too instead, I think. I wonder, what if we do that? Okay, now it changes it. Okay. So you can pick either a regen and the basic one of these, maybe, or you can pick just the second tier of, of whatever you've chosen. Okay, that makes sense. And yeah, so right now, material doesn't seem to matter. You can do this with any pyramid. Okay, back to the world. Oh yeah, here I just did the range. So if you're on the just the... 3x3, three three, it goes 16 blocks. Your 5x5, five five, 24. Whatever the next one is, 7x7, seven seven, 32. And 9x9 nine nine is 40. 
So that's the different range for the different tiers. And yeah, I was just doing comparing to see if there's any difference there. Doesn't appear to be. I'm sure they will change it in some way, so it matters what block you use, I would think. There should be some benefit to using, say, diamond blocks compared to iron. We shall see. Alright, back to the main world. Well, everybody, I think we are out of time for today. Whoop! We are out of range, actually, up here. No beacon boost here. Yeah. Uh, so, another hub, sort of done. Main room. Now I gotta do the tunnel to the. Whoop! To the mine shaft and the spider spawner. Cave spider spawner. And. what else? Eventually, I have to make it out to the mushroom biome. I've never been there, but I have seen it on the Admist map program thing. Oops, I just hit my mic. Not bad. So yeah, other than that, I'm not sure what we'll work on tomorrow. Assuming there's an episode tomorrow. <laughs> I went and I threw more doors everywhere here. So all the outside ones have two, the inside one has one. Same with the upstairs, single door, double door. Let's see if I can get the population back up, because it does look like I'm losing villagers. Paid some fatalities. We could also try recruiting some more villagers by going out at night and trying to find some infected zombie villagers and bringing them back. Where are you guys? Are you still stuck in the floor? I swear he's been there for quite some time. Oops. Alright, I need my battery. Oh. Get out of the floor. Hey oh. Uh, there's one in there, I guess. I don't know. Looks like I'm low on villagers. Yeah. And I threw an iron golem in there to maybe protect these guys, because I think. Yeah, I've been trying to unlock trades with this guy, because I lost that one guy. Let's see if the other guys over here are alive. Zoom! Ow! Now the uh, golems are here. That's a good sign. Yep. Hey guys, still alive. Very good. Keep on living. I'd like to build some more houses too, I think. I've been just not inspired on what to build, but I think I have a design somewhat in mind. I think it's going to go in this area along the water. I'm going to take advantage of the slope and possibly have like a walkout basement style thing. The patio and yeah, I'll see what I can do. Hey piggies! Right, I don't have a stick of carrotness. Well guys, thank you for joining me. A little slow episode today. Uh, hopefully I can do something a little more exciting for the next episode. But I may go back to the nether and work on the nether fortress on my own time. Maybe hunt some more wither skeletons while I'm there. See if I can get some more heads so we can do another wither bottle bass. Wither bottle bass? That's not right. Wither boss battle. There we go. I've been thinking what we could actually do if we choose to do it in the end is we could erect a eh, uh, another beacon at the end. It does work in the end, I believe. So we could throw one of those up, put it underground so it doesn't get blown up. Have a little hole so it gets the light or access to the sky that it needs. And we could kind of use that as a buff to fight the wither, throw it on like a regen setting or something. Or maybe even speed. Having the speed would be good too, but we could do that with potions. I mean, we could do regen with potions too, but I don't know, something. Or I could put it on the protection one and see if that makes a significant difference. 
But yeah, that is all. I am currently waiting. This is now stocked full of carrots. I want to get nine full stacks of golden carrots to put into a dispenser for the potion room thing, majig. So yeah, right now there's just carrots in here. Once those are done, I will probably put it back to wheat, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. No big plans. And I guess this technically is no longer closed. It's just currently off. Another thing we could do with the slimes is make it so it doesn't come up here at all. Make it so they automatically get killed and it sends the loot or the slime balls to the unloaded chunk. And that way that control panel down there is like basically deciding what goes to the unloaded chunk. You can pick your mob drops, your sugar cane, etc. Chicken eggs, whatnot. But yeah. And I've been cooking stone like a madman <laughs> for the nether fortress. So I actually emptied out quite a bit of cobble. I'm not out yet. I think I still have a bunch downstairs. Yeah, I think these are still full. Yeah, I emptied a couple of those, starting that one, but these three are still full. I also have a bunch at my uh, mine shaft thing. In the extreme hills, my strip mine, branch mine, what have you. I think there's a couple double chests there full of cobble as well. Right, guys, well, thank you for joining me. If you have any suggestions on how I could improve that another hub main chamber thing, let me know. Ooh, spooky. And otherwise, we will see you all next time. Bye-bye.